Hello everyone, I am Sikandar Abu Rakib from Tut Plus 24. Uh, today uh, I am going to start a new series. Uh, this is uh, call, uh, called uh, Gulf JS. So, what is Gulf? Gulf is a toolkit that will facilitate us to automate our workflow and to make a faster build and what is the benefit of using gulf the benefit of using gulf is it it is very simple it simple uses and it can give us a very efficient builds and quality ecosystems so uh, by using the gulf uh, i can uh, facilitate the total system and enhance our sy system enhance our workflow so uh, the obvious question comes how we can use gulf yes uh, to use the gulf we need to install the gulf globally so first of all i am going to install the gulf globally so let us do that so i am going to write npm install gulp minus g flag for global enter so it is installing uh, into my system globally as such i can use gulp uh, from <coughs> my uh, machine anywhere and for using gulp uh, in our project we also need to install it uh, locally uh, as a, a dev de dependency <clears throat> I will show it later on. <clears throat> so uh, it has been installed. So I can check like uh, Gulp version. Its client version is 3.9.1. Okay. Now I am going to create a project folder. Uh, here so make dir uh, lesson one lesson one i'm switching there and i am going to install the gulp locally and before doing that <coughs> I am going to uh, uh, init npm init uh, to uh, create a package.json file. So I am writing npm init. It will create uh, a package.json file uh, simple gulp example and <coughs> no test command and author sikandar Abu Rakib and license is okay and and let us see package dot JSON file yes we can see the uh, file 
now I am going to install Gulp locally. npm Gulp. <coughs> Sorry, npm install <coughs> Gulp. Or I can write. It will uh, install Gulp locally and at the same time <coughs> I am opening the folder with my code editor. I am using Visual Studio Code. And I'm going to my project. And this is the package and this is the node modules. Uh, let us check. Yes, it has been uh, installed. So I can check the girl version. So you see, previously we checked and we got the message, uh, the client version 3.9.1. Now we have got the both client version and the local version 3.9.1. So we have successfully installed Gulp uh, locally and globally. And here uh, in a, a de dependencies uh, object properties here, we see Gulp and its latest version. Well, and now what we need, uh, we need to create a uh, Gulp JS file. So I am going to do it that. So very first we uh, installed Gulp uh, or Gulp client in globally and then we installed uh, locally Gulp into our project folder and now I am going to create the Gulp uh, file uh, file.js uh, here and I can see yes gulf file has been created and I'm going to my code editor this is the file where we can write some code okay the first thing uh, in into gulf file uh, what we'll write we'll just uh, write the code uh, of uh, gulf and its uh, modules uh, what you, what we will see in the uh, next tutorials as a plugin we'll uh, install it and we will uh, require it into our gulf file include it into our gulf file so for doing that let us write var gulf is equal to require gulf okay so uh, then I can write uh, a very simple task. Gulp uh, has some methods. Uh, I can write gulp dot task and here uh, if I give the name like my task. And if I write some anonymous function 
and simply if I write console dot log and if I write this is my first test in Gulp JS okay or simply Gulp and uh, I am going to save it and again going to my uh, window terminal and I will have to write Gulp and the task name what is here my task my task so you see here we are getting this is my first test in gulp that means it is uh, echoing out that means uh, it is giving output uh, whatever we uh, right here into the console log method okay so uh, now uh, I can extend it a bit uh, Gulf has a, a default task so I can write Gulf dot task and default and then into a into an array i can write the name of the task my task okay uh, why i am writing this first of all i am not writing this uh, okay i can make it comment and first if i don't give this thing here so what will happen uh, if i give the command here uh, gulp only if i write only gulp so it is <coughs> starting the default task and it is finishing by some uh, microsecond okay but if i if i want to execute my uh, specific task so in that case i can mention it here in in a array my task so what will happen let us check so we are getting uh, starting my task here and uh, it is uh, giving the message of console log and then uh, finishing the task my, uh, my task and then starting the default task and finishing the default task so this is the way that gulf handles the task and uh, now uh, uh, if I uh, try to do something like uh, if I uh, if I want to concatenate some JavaScript file or if I want to minify the JavaScript file uh, we can do it or uh, if I want to uh, uglify the JavaScript file that means uh, to uh, compress it to a minimum uh, size why we will do that because uh, for a CSS file and for JavaScript file if we have uh, many CSS file and JavaScript file into our uh, index file or project so for uh, the 
uh, HTTP request, uh, the client will have to call uh, many requests. Will client will have to make many requests. Uh, in fact, uh, for each uh, file, client will have to make a request. So the number of requests will be increased. The, the uh, system will be slow. Uh, that's why. Uh, we want to minimize the number of HTTP requests uh, into the server. So for minimizing that, uh, we want to uh, compress, we want to concatenate all the JavaScript file into one build system, into one distributed system, and uh, we want to uh, locate that uh, distributed system into our index.html file, and client will uh, call that uh, file, and uh, we'll get all other files inside that build system and this is the general principle of uh, reducing the uh, number of uh, http request uh, and by that way we can make faster our application and we can make the build system in that way okay uh, this is uh, enough introduction for today so far uh, so good i think uh, it will be uh, getting more uh, information in uh, next tutorial and it will be more meaningful when I will include some plugins into our system so uh, until that uh, if you have any question uh, you can leave it into the comment and uh, see you in the next video thank you very much